Ouch! Is that vodka? Did you know that if you side with Ceres after the Berserker attack at Kertrolda, the quest that follows actually has three or four different variations with some subtle details? I believe that many people only ever got to see one of them, so I decided to make this video and show you everything. Lovely scar. Wanna see mine? Oh, and before we begin, have you noticed that Svanriga actually hides in Yalmar's room when the bears attack? He is initially seen next to the dancer by the entrance, but then, I assume that when Berna Bran storms out of Krak's room, she tells him to leave right before the massacre begins. And immediately afterwards, he can be found still chilling in that room. Yes, Witcher? Yes, Witcher? Yes, Witcher? Anyway, back to Ceres. So, everyone's dead, you pick her side, and the investigation begins. Shit! The spirit! Then, after a while, you realize that Arnvald is in fact behind the ambush in the basement, and you start chasing him on horseback. Now, I assume that most people ended up catching him and delivering him to the Jarls. Ha! Got him! But there are two other variations here, or two and a half, I suppose. First off, you can casually ride beside him all the way until he reaches the shore. Shit, he's fast. There, you will see him meeting up with a group of men who wear Clan Twirsech uniforms. Quick! They're after me! No time to lose, then. Kill him! Huh? Are you mad? I'm on your side! Not anymore. Geralt, we need him alive. Figured as much. Help me. Now, if you manage to defeat them before he dies, you still get to interrogate him and take him to the Jarls, but there are a few changes now. First, he'll ask you why you saved him. Why did you help me? Because I want to hear why you betrayed my father, my brother and our clan. Say it to my face! No Oncret should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. And I know the colours those men wore. That was the clan Twer, Sakhtartan. It's her. She's behind all this, isn't she? Yes. Bernard Braun. And more importantly, you will be able to bring this encounter as evidence later on, though they still don't think too much of it. Got one more piece of evidence. Arnvold fled Kertrolda, rode to an agreed meeting point. The warriors who awaited him there tried to kill him. What's that to do with Burner? Those men wore Clan Twersek colors. This is no proof. It is inconclusive. Anyone might have donned our tartans. Burner's right, Saras. Is all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Okay, another two variations are first, if you let him die in this fight. They were waiting for him. He probably thought they'd take him someplace safe. I can't believe he could be so. so stupid. Oh God, I've known him all my life. Did you see their tartans? Clan twirls are colors. Berna? It's too soon to pass judgment. It could be a ruse, a plot to deceive us. You find anything? Just this key. Found it in Arnvold's pocket. Too small for a door key. I, I might just know what it fits. Let's get back to Kertrolda. And second, if you fail to catch him during the horse chase part. In this case, you only find his dead body on the beach. So, didn't get away after all. Now, in both cases, an entirely new sequence will unlock, where you loot a key from him and proceed to investigate his personal quarters. So? Find anything? Mm-hmm. Arnvold's body. And this key. Had it on him. We've got to search his room. Lead the way. Still can't believe Arnvold played a part in it. Know him well? Since childhood. He was always tight-lipped, secretive. But never hurt a fly. Let's get to work. Search every nook. Turn things upside down if need be. 
Think he'd be dumb enough to leave any evidence behind? He didn't expect to be pursued. Might not have managed to take everything. Clothes all over the place. Think Arnvold might have been in a hurry. And a lone shoe. Unlike him, he paid attention to how he looked. Shoes are of a pair. The Song of Bran the Conqueror. Bran the Conqueror is a hero to Clan Twersik. He took Skellige's crown by force, was killed soon after. Interesting, but it's hardly proof. An empty envelope. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Must say I envy you that. Ambergris. Means a user of perfume. That's the scent to follow. A hidden compartment? Hmm. Maybe I ought to try Arnvold's key. A letter! I told you! Smell it. Burn his perfume. Never liked it. Horribly suffocating. Might have guessed it was her. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. Read that letter already. Instructions on how to spike the mead. Some promises. But it's neither signed nor sealed. Think it's enough? It's got to be. We shouldn't delay any longer. Time to gather the Jarls. Now, there are some subtle differences here when it comes to meeting with the Jarls. Oh, and by the way, did you know that the Council of Jarls is called The Thing? The Thing will need to convene. Let's go. So, first off, the opening of the following conversation will be different because now Arnvald is dead. It was my father's cub bearer, Arnvald, who helped him. Bearing a bribe, Arnvald, he tried to kill me and the Witcher. What? Arnvald? No oh, shite. Arnvald is Crack's loyal dog. I thank you, Lugos. But so be it. Let us hear the slander you've commanded him to repeat. Bring him in. He's dead. And I wager it was you who silenced him. I am not surprised to see you lie, Cyrus. After all, like father, like daughter. But your lie is clumsy. And that does surprise me. Silence, Burner. And you, Cyrus, how do you aim to prove your accusation? And the next detail here is that for some reason, if Arnvold is dead, Cyrus will not try to convince the Jarls that the letter smells of Burner's perfume, but instead she'll point to the fact that they seem to have been written by a woman. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> it lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But the hand is that of a woman. And you... <laughs> is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Now, sadly, the ending is always the same. Regardless of what evidence you present, it's always considered insufficient and Svanriga always ends up exposing his mother, who later on can be found dead, chained to a rock. Berna Bran. Horrific death. And now I'm actually curious about whether there's something similar for Yalmar's quest, which I should probably investigate further. Okay, so finally, let me know if you've seen these outcomes in your own playthroughs, and I think we're done. Thank you very much for watching, special thanks to my supporters on Patreon and my YouTube members, and until the next video, which will probably not be about series, sadly, stay tuned and be good. Side. A quill pusher. The quill is mightier than the sword. <laughs>